I think the Comla de Moor Award is really important because what it does is it continues Comla's legacy. And if you didn't know Comla, well, what he represented, I think, was the very best of Africa. Positive, uh, energetic, and uh, I think he had a real passion for telling African stories from an African perspective. And it's amazing how this journey has just progressed in an amazing way. So it's been a really quick but really amazing experience and I feel like the BBC has stretched me um, in a way I never thought was possible. Uh, I think what this award means for aspiring journalists in Africa is it, it gives you a chance. And let's be honest, sometimes uh, the cutthroat world of journalism doesn't give you many chances, doesn't give you many opportunities, um, often not even much training. But this really does give you a chance, you know, to just have doors open in front of you. And I think that's amazing. And you only need to look at, you know, the two winners after me to see amazing evidence of that. There are amazing women, uh, Didi from Nigeria and uh, Amina as well, who's the most recent winner, all doing so well. All have managed to grow uh, spectacularly. Um, uh, just as I have you know, also been given an opportunity to grow. So I think that's what it really gives young journalists. It's just you know, an open door for a change and a chance to, to do what you believe in. I can only imagine how amazing it's going to be when we have 100 of these winners um, far along the road, but also persistence. And you know, if you get a no the first time, it doesn't mean you shouldn't try the second time. I was so inspired you know, by Didi. It wasn't you know, the first time that she's applied, and she got it the second time. That could be you. So I'd say keep trying and, and just believe very strongly in, in what you can bring to the world.